Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo 980 Master Nightmare Hunt run of this one of this week's nightmares, which is Isolation, which is the Tanix Nightmare Hunt. Now, as I said on stream, I'm going to be doing all of them, so this will be the third one I've put up. Uh, you've seen the, mo the modifiers at the start. It's not the, this week's isn't too bad. It's got you've got you don't have any radar and solar's a bit stronger but it says you've got two different types of champions and i never encountered uh i've done this one maybe about two or three times and i never encountered any unstoppable so and you don't really have to worry about the barrier champion so there was no need to have the scout rifle on that i actually chose with the unstoppable shot so you can see there the weapons and the arm i'm using i've got all the supreme mods on the three supreme mods on and uh, I'm using Merciless because it's really good against the Solar Shielded Nightmares. I'm using Love and Death, which my version of that rocket launcher has Spike Nades, Full Court and Boss Spec on. And obviously Patreon of Lost, Lost Causes has, I, I, I think it's got Underdog and Explosive Rounds on it. And I'm going with Top Tune of it because I've got Controverse Holds on, so I'm going for them more so for the grenades. But the Super is pretty good so in this first area as it is with all the areas the thing that kind of blocks your progression to the next area will be the nightmare ads so in this first area you've got three nightmare acolytes so the way we're going to deal with it is we're going to put a grenade on them straight away then i'm going to try and pick off put some damage on the nightmares but pick off the kind of smaller acolytes we've got the high ground you can still take you can still take a fair amount of damage up here, but a lot less up here than you would if you were down in amongst the rocks. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pick off these smaller ads from up here. Just make where we'll root around this area easier if we're not dealing, obviously we're getting shot from multiple targets. Now the idea is, what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and take down one of the nightmares on its own. We're going to pick out one. Try and get them down quite low and then kill them because the orb that the nightmares drop once they die increases greatly the damage you do against nightmares. Now as you can see that nightmare on the left has dropped an orb. We're going to reload, get down there and we're going to take these two other nightmares out. Now as you can see, you probably won't be able to make a great comparison here but this would normally take six or seven shots, maybe maybe a full clip to take down a nightmare using the merciless. With that orb, it's one to two shots with full health. Really is well well you'll see here how much damage it does. That orb really, really does afford you a massive damage increase. So once you get through this area you can just completely bypass this area. And now we're going to the next area which where progress is blocked by surprise surprise two more nightmares. These these are in this area it's shanks. Now you can see this. You can see the shanks from up here. They're down to just down to the left where I'm pointing. Now I'm going to put a grenade down there. We're not really looking to deal with the shanks because, as you can see, there's a servitor down there, and the shanks will gravitate to the servitor because the servitor will obviously shield them from damage. So rather than trying to just do damage on on the nightmares, what it makes more sense to take the servitor down so that they they lose their their security if you like so i'm just going to go down here and take out this last enemy here i'm going to melee because top tree warlock melee gives you half once you get a melee kill a charged melee kill gives you half of your grenade back so i'm just going to charge another grenade as soon as i get it back and throw it down the server are, the servers are annoying but th that's about it and you know put a little bit more damage on the nightmare just try to make my job easier when the servitor goes down. So while this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to take these, you know, keep, wait for my grenade and take the servitor down from here because there are barrier champions and other ads down there. We don't really want to, we don't want to draw attention to ourselves, especially when we don't have what, you know, what character isn't built to take those down. As you can see, I've almost took one of the nightmares down from up here. So pretty easy and we've almost got the grenade back. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to put a grenade on this, this, this servitor. And then as soon as the shield goes down, hopefully, I think I think I get my grenade back pretty quick here, but I'm taking a bit of damage after back away, and I got my grenade back. So what we're going to do is, we can see the server there, he's started to get his shield back, so I'm going to drop another, another grenade, and a one shot from the grenade launcher, if it landed because of how much health he still had, killed him. So there's another nightmare, we're going to clear this other nightmare, and then... 
and then we're going to move on. So we'll speak a little bit about the boss area. Now the boss area, the boss fight is split into two areas. There's the area we're going to be go going down to now. And then once you do so much damage to the boss, he will then go to his next area, which that's where the fun begins. So, so again, this is kind of similar to the scoreless fight, this area. The boss will teleport quite quite a lot and chase you, but I find he seems to do it more when the ads are up. When the ads are down, he's less likely to be so frenetic and run about so much. So right off the bat, we're going to charge a grenade, drop it, and then Nova. Because we haven't used for Super Up till now. That should bring out the first wave of ads, as you can see. So we're going to try and get back here. There is no safe zone that I found where you can go and you're safe from the boss. It's not like the scoreless area where there was a platform where you could go and the boss wouldn't teleport. So what I was trying to do is just try and make myself aware. Now, as you can see, I never got my grenade back because I used it on the boss. It might be an idea to not use your grenade. Save your grenade for those ads. Try and get them when they're built up uh, so that you can give yourself a chance. You can see there's nightmare ads. That's why... You know, we can't attack the boss because while the nightmare ads are up, the boss is in his nightmare state. So I'm just using these as cover, waiting for the boss. Again, it's, it is it is about getting the boss to chase you so you know where he is. You don't want... In areas like these where you can't control the boss's movements to a degree, you don't want to make it that the you don't know where the boss is. So as you can see, it's about lappage, just doing laps and... You, and there we go, we've put a grenade down on them, take some of the trash mob ads out, and we can use this here. The boss is still going to come to us, so we can't stay there, but when we're attacking, that's that's a good ploy, is to keep coming back to that area so that you've got, you've got uh, the advantage. Now, I've picked up that orb, as you can see, the orb just, it makes it so easy to take down nightmares, and I never really had too much of a problem taking down the, uh, getting ads and uh, get getting ammo, sorry, but I find that when you know when you take out the ads, it's, there is a point you can see he's kind of frenetic, he's kind of moving about, and then that gets to a point where he just stops doing that. He's really fast, really teleporting. I get past him here, and it seems like you'll, when I turn around, you'll see exactly what I mean. This is the time now to attack him when he goes into his. Now I'm kind of just crawling about mode so we're just going to put some some grenades on them and as you can see that was enough to put him into his next damage phase which now we've got uh, solar shielded ads so i'm going to try as you, as you can see just try and take down some of the shields and get get some damage now what i found here and i'm just i'm just checking because what I found here more than I did at you know during during the first first exchanges, the boss never ran around the map. When you get this first bit, he seems to stay down there, which is good for us because we can we can be more uh, we can uh, we can be a little bit more strategic and attack a little bit more from range. But all this is <laughs> I don't know what best way to put it. All this is just preparation for that last room. It's crazy to be in that last room to be such close proximity. But um, there's the first nightmare, so we're going to push and get that orb and let us take down the other one pretty quickly. Now, the other one's kind of hiding. I get one big shot on it, but, but the solar damage is, is strong. You know, that's what you've got to watch out for is that area of effect that, that the boss does. Because he's, it's as you can see, it's, it's, it's like a... It's, it is like a grenade launcher he's firing, although it's not. It's, it's a scorch cannon, but when it hits the ground... That air of effect damage is, is is brutal. So we can just about see the nightmare here. We put that nightmare down, and you'll see here the boss. He's kind of I'm wait I'm waiting for my super. Now a kind of weird thing not not happened here, and I'm not sure if it's supposed to happen. But you can see I'm really close to getting my super. So what I was expecting was yeah I'm gonna get my super. I'll charge a grenade, jump up, throw the grenade. While I had the grenade charged. And never gave me my super. Now I don't know if that's a thing, if that's a glitch. I've never noticed it before. So I actually had to change weapon which cancels the charging grenade thing. As you can see, I've just 
and then it gave me my supper straight away. So that's kind of strange. So now we can charge with grenade, drop the grenade on him, and then Nova. And that puts him into... Now we're in the second part of the boss fight. So you see I've got a nightmare ad there. And I've got a whole heap of other ads. But the boss is gone. So it's we've just got these ads to deal with now. So we can come back up here. And just mess about with them at our leisure. I'm just going to drop a big grenade over there. See how many I can take out. And again from, from the spot we used the last time. I'm further back. There is a nightmare ad there. It's not too much problem to just take these out. They're, they're going to try and push, but they're just normal enemies. You know. Well, actually, the nightmare's there. <laughs> they're not normal enemies. I thought it was just a normal enemy pushing me there, but it, there was a nightmare enemy there. There's the other nightmare. We've got that damage boost, but he's, he is now running away. He wants nothing to do with us. But the Merciless, Merciless with the Catalyst is, is strong. You know, it's, it gives you that range and stability boost. And the reason I decided to use it is I didn't think I was going to kill the nightmares with one shot. So, perfect. It's like, it's like a you know a hard-hitting, fast-firing shotgun that just fires faster and faster. Which would make it in close proximity really good for boss damage because you've also got solar damage as well. This room, however, is crazy. This is crazy. So, you've got the boss in here. Then you're going to have ads that are going to keep coming in. And you just have to keep running circles. Now, you don't get tons and tons and tons of ads. But there's enough to cause you trouble. So we're going to charge for grenade as soon as the boss is activated. I'm just going to put it on the lip. So it does damage to him, damage to everything. Right? And you can see it took the two invisibles out. Now, those invisibles later on in this battle are going to be solar shielded. But because they're invisible, you can't see the shield. So it literally is... Exactly the same as it has been in some of the other ones. It's about getting into a little bit of cover. But my advice, what I try to do. I see him in a little bit of cover. Took him out. Took that nightmare out. I've got the boost which will help me take the next nightmare out pretty easily. My my kind of uh, advice here. If you're going to get in cover. You've got, uh, as you see, I never, I never really used my rift here that too much. Up till, you know, up till this point. I didn't really use my ref because I felt like I had to keep moving. But as long as you've got the boss in your sights, you can predict where he is and you can see which direction he's going to spawn in. It's about being, you know, have being, you know, fast on your feet. When you see him moving, you go the other way. And and try not to try not to stay. As you can see, I'm putting my ref down now because I'm planning on doing a, a little bit of damage here. You know. So now what it's about. He's, you know, he's not got a lot left, but now he's he's in his nightmare. So we're going to put a grenade down. And as you've seen, those nightmares came out and they're solar shielded straight away. But then they go invisible. So, like I say, you know, there you go. You can see the explosion when you actually get the kill on, on, on the, the, the enemy. It's just about, you know, keep running those laps. You know, try and stay a, a difficult target. You know, as you can see, it's... It's, it's it's a tricky little room. It really is. You know, the Merciless made it easy because, you know, any big ad or small ads that were solar, we're just going to put a grenade over onto the back there. The grenades really help. They really do. I got trapped on a little thing there, so it's kind of, that's the worst place to, to be facing the boss because the boss's damage is big damage. I've got decent recovery. You can see the stats on my armor when you when you when you check it check out at the start of the video. I've got decent recovery, uh, which helps me get my rift back because that's that's the thing. Now we want these ads to push us because the merciless makes light work of them if they're close to us, and then we get that orb and then just completely <laughs> annihilate the next one and then Nova and we're done. And that's the run, guys. Good luck with trying that. I'm sure you guys can all get it. Thank you very much for watching the video and supporting. And I will see you guys in the next video.